and was to make sure we kept the uh, kept the epic feel, you know, Bakugan or anywhere from like two, three, four. Gate card set. So we wanted to ensure that that came through in combat as much as possible. Uh, so you know, the combat system is kind of a hybrid uh, to the uh, TV show, um, as people are. Uh, What's going on guys? This is Mike Noid and today we are going to talk about Bakugan on the Nintendo Switch. So on July 10th, Nintendo dropped a Treehouse live stream where they basically showed off the new Paper Mario game that's uh, releasing pretty soon at the time of recording this video. And a matter of fact, it's already leaked so you can technically play it on the PC but that's a whole different story. But Nintendo didn't only show Paper Mario, in fact they actually hyped up a third party game and a lot of people pretty much got excited for that because uh, basically we haven't seen anything from Nintendo we don't know what's coming out uh, holiday season we don't know what's coming out next year I mean we're, we're in the dark on on Nintendo games so after they showed off Paper Mario we get a trailer for Bakugan Champions of Vistroya and for about 20 minutes they showed off gameplay for Bakugan Champions of Vistroya and before uh, I give my opinion on what I think about the game so far uh, we're actually gonna we're gonna give a little history lesson in the old Bakugan and then the current Bakugan which is what this Nintendo Switch version Version is based on so if you don't know anything about Bakugan uh, it's pretty much like Pokemon it's one of those so it's pretty much a card game where you have marbles that basically open up and become a creature and then you just have them battle other Bakugan so first we're gonna talk about the card game and we're gonna talk about the old Bakugan the one that I grew up with so how you play the game is that you have three Bakugan and you have your three ability cards and three gate cards and all you have to do to win is win three gate cards but the game completely changed for Bakugan Battle Planet Battle Planet is pretty much a reboot to the original Bakugan series and for the card game is not as simple as it used to be instead of gate cards you use these little hexagon chips and instead of using three ability cards you use 40 of them and then three character cards this game is not as simple and if I were to explain how this game works uh, we'd be here for about 30 more minutes but pretty much how you win is you got to get rid of all your opponents cards from their draw pile even though the battle planet rules are significantly more complex than the original game it basically allows for more strategy and makes you think more of how to use your cards and what Bakugan to use so let's go ahead and talk about the TV shows I grew up with Bakugan battle brawlers I watched all four seasons and I mean from nostalgia standpoint it's really good uh, but when I go back and watch it now I mean, it's pretty much the same stuff, you know, they play a bunch of ability cards and basically uh, Whichever Bakugan is stronger wins the battle. So if you were to go back and watch that show I say just stick to the first season. That's pretty much the best season uh, in my opinion So now let's go back and turn our attention to the actual game that was shown off in the treehouse live stream Once again, it's called Bakugan champions of Vistroya and this is only coming out to the Nintendo switch So I don't know why they decided to hype it it up so much I mean me personally I wasn't expecting anything from this treehouse that's why I didn't even watch it when it was first live streaming I was just oh they're probably just gonna show Paper Mario so I actually went a couple days not knowing that they showed off this game and instead I saw the trailer itself in its own video which is what they should have done to be honest with you they should have just uh, dropped a trailer out of nowhere I mean it there was no way it could have got that much flack if they didn't hype it up that much yeah so they pretty much did an attend don't by showing this in the tree house live stream but besides that i'm gonna talk about uh what i think about the game and on i'm gonna be honest with you man it doesn't it doesn't look good i don't know so there's something about this game man at first i thought it was looking okay you know it kind of looks like pokemon at a quick glance like the overworld you know like the players walking around but the graphics man like i'm not even, i'm not even big on graphics but the graphics just look terrible and you know i would have forgiven the graphics if the gameplay looked appealing but it doesn't like your character just runs around picking up like glowing stop signs on 
on the floor and throws him at the Bakugan. And then like right in the middle when you're like running around uh, like a scene where the Bakugan attacks uh, shows up and it, I mean that seems like it's annoying to be interrupted like every five seconds. So they claimed it's an action RPG but I mean I don't know man it doesn't even look that good. So the game is primarily based on the show because in the show you know they're throwing hexagons at the Bakugan and that's what gives them power. I did not see one ability card in that gameplay. I mean it would have been cool if they based it on the trading card game as well but you I mean you're just running around throwing hexagons at the Bakugan. I don't know I mean it, maybe maybe I'm wrong I mean they only showed 20 minutes of it but from what I saw I mean it just looks weird. I feel like the gameplay would get boring after a while. So I actually sat down watching uh, the full 20 minutes pretty much and within like the first minute or two they actually got me pretty hyped because they said they're bringing 80 Bakugan plus one more which if you're a Bakugan fan like me uh, you got pretty excited when they said this is that they're bringing Leonidas into this game. Now why that's a big deal is pretty much Leonidas is the partner Bakugan you use in the Bakugan Battle Brawlers video game. And we're going to talk more about that video game uh, in just a minute. As of right now this is Nintendo's biggest game uh, revealed for the holiday season. This comes out in November 3rd of this year and there's basically two versions uh, that we can see on Amazon right here. We have the standard version which is uh, $50 and then and we have the deluxe edition which comes with a dragonoid and two cards and two hexagons i don't know man <laughs> i don't know about 50 dollars <laughs> oh you're crazy after seeing that game oh my i mean look look at this car and then look look at the attack animation look look at this fire he's trying to breathe out so bakugan champions of Vistroya uh really looks terrible to be honest with you i mean a lot of people already don't care about bakugan because most people didn't grow up with it and even at the looking at the trailer and even looking at the gameplay i mean it just looks so bad even the guy from spin master and one of the developers <laughs> didn't even look interested at all when playing this game so yeah i have some negative opinions about this game but you know i wanted to take the opportunity to talk about the bakugan game that really was pretty damn good and i feel like uh needs to bring to light for all y'all who didn't grow up with bakugan i don't think i would call it a hidden gem because pretty much the whole bakugan community they know how good this game is. Bakugan Battle Brawlers the video game uh, it released on several different platforms. I believe it came out on uh, the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, the Wii, and the DS. And what I like about this game is that it brings the best of both worlds from the TV show and then the card game. You have the same voice actors from the TV show. You make your own character and you have a Bakugan partner named Leonidas. And what you do is you pretty much go up the ranks and become the best Bakugan brawler and save all Bakugan kind. And what it takes from the card game is that you win by getting the three gate cards by using the three Bakugan and three ability cards. And what makes this game so fun is that you're not only using Bakugan Bakugan to beat other Bakugan but you're also controlling the Bakugan over a good variety of stages where you can collect all sorts of things that would make your Bakugan more powerful and give you the advantage in battle. So you can play in the tournaments, you can just do free play in the park and go to the shop which you can buy Bakugan, buy cards and even upgrade your Bakugan making them even more powerful. This game had no reason being this good for a Cartoon Network show but it's great that it was amazing. So if you ever want to check this game out uh, which I highly suggest. GameStop sells Bakugan Battle Brawlers for five bucks. I think it's for every system. I'm also going to note that the one on the DS is actually pretty good itself. Obviously the graphics aren't going to be that good and they actually cut the dialogue but you do get the same story and the gameplay is pretty neat too because uh, you can basically control the Bakugan using the touch screen. So it's pretty much the same game except it's you know the DS version. To summarize, Bakugan Champions of Destroya doesn't really look that good. Uh, I probably... <sighs> I probably won't get it. I mean, I, I, I kind of want to just to see how bad it is, but it just doesn't really look that good. But you know, if you want to save some money and you want to try an actually good Bakugan game, then Bakugan Battle Brawlers, the video game is the way to go. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think of Bakugan Champions of Vistroya. And are you interested in trying out this old Bakugan game? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. And of course, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. I'm not going to lie though. I am excited for Leonidas to come back. They should have made a toy of them. <laughs>